Today I'm going to show you how to get your start button back on the Windows desktop in Windows 8. Uh, it's just basically the functionality of Windows 7 is all here except you don't have the start button down here. You just have this weird thing where if you click on it it brings you back here. So if you want the functionality of the start button where it brings up programs and control panel and all that stuff, I can show you how to get that. It's actually extremely simple. Uh, all we're going to have to do is go to ninite.com and we can download a program there called Windows Classic Shell that just gives you a start button back. So uh, The web address is www.ninite.com oh, like ninite.com So when you get here, you're just going to need to scroll down a bit and the one that you want to choose is Classic Start right here. Um, and you can select any other cool programs here if you want to download them at the same time. These are all free. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff here. I use Night Night all the time uh, to save some time. So uh, then just hit Get Installer at the bottom. And then uh, it'll start downloading in a second. Just save it somewhere. And it's a very small file because it uh, it actually downloads the program afterward. This is just downloading the installer. So then uh, we can just double click on the installer and run it. And it's just going to go through a few things here. Uh, after just hit yes on the user account control and then just hit show details if you're wondering what it's doing. Right now it's downloading Classic Start. After it finishes downloading it, then it'll install it. All in all, it just takes a minute or two. Um, and you can configure the Start button once it's down here to look like Windows 2000, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. And then there's also some other th customization things, so it's actually even more powerful than the Start button in Windows 7 or in Vista. So, um, just give this a second and it'll be done. Okay, now that this is done, uh, all we have to do is... Actually, we don't have to do anything. The start button is already here. And uh, by default, when you click on it the first time, you're going to notice that yours probably looks a little ugly. Mine is already set to Windows 7, uh, and I'll just show you how to do that quickly. But you can see that if you just go to Programs, all of your programs are in here. You can go to Control Panel, Computer, all that. It's just like the start button in Windows 7 now, so that's actually very nice. It even has the search functionality at the bottom. Uh, if you want to change the look of the start menu, you just go to Programs, Classic Shell. Classic Shell is the name of the start button program, and you just go into the Menu Settings. And then the Start Menu Style tab will let you choose what you want it to look like, like if you chose Windows Classic, then it looks like this. That's probably what yours will start out with. Uh, I like the look of the Windows 7. That just looks like that. So you can choose any of them. And there's a lot of other settings in here to play around with, but that's basically how to get back the functionality of the Start button in Windows 8.